So uh, we're going to do operations on rational functions. Ready, class? Ready! Yay, Matt? Yay, Matt! Very nice. <laughs> All right, so rational... Oh my goodness. That uh, never gets old. <laughs> functions. Oh, we'll find out the hard way. Please write the following functions. Given. F of x equals x squared plus 5x minus 1. G of x equals 3x minus 2. Should we write them side by side? Yeah, it's good write them side by side. Because we're going to be working. Okay, ready to yay math our first thing. Woo. It's pretty easy. Thank you for that. Okay. <laughs> so it goes F plus G of X, that's how you say it. F plus G of X. Are you combining those? We're gonna basically add the two functions together. It's a new formula. So the way this is how it's gonna be this is how it's gonna be given. What it really means is this. It really means f of x plus g of x. So it follows the distributive property rule. So it's just code. You know, books and stuff, they like to give you code, and they, they like to confuse you. And as a teacher, I like to confuse you too. Well, maybe not if I'm filming something. That would be pretty, that would be pretty bad. But, uh, yeah, so this is... Confusing, this is not confusing because, right? Can you do it? Yeah. I'm just going to write x squared plus 5x. Why did only one person say yeah? Yeah! yeah. Okay. And uh, combine like terms and we're done. So, no one. Equals x squared plus what? 8x, 8x, 8x. 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 <coughs> minus 3. Yeah. Okay, what do you think's next after F plus G of X? Factor. F minus G of X. Yeah, F minus G of X. Max. Someone ate their Wheaties. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yeah, some people don't know the Wheaties reference. They're smart now. Yes. If you eat Wheaties, you... you uh, am I like split screen? <laughs> like the, like not the in it, you're not in it at all. Oh, I'm not in it at all. <laughs> Look, <laughs> steps. Okay. <laughs> okay, do that like elevator. Okay, I'm writing it. F of X. Yeah, I can do the elevator. Right. I can do the electric slide. <laughs> I can do everything. That'd be crazy doing electric slide right here. Okay. So, X squared. Does anyone uh, have a problem with parentheses? Yes. Alright, then get over it right now. Because, don't forget, minus... 3x minus 2. Why did we only put a negative into the second half? This is f of x. That's okay. I'm, I'm cool being out. I'm cool being out. This is f of x. This is minus. This is g of x. Alright? Yeah. See how they're both written? Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we, and we, yeah, negative. we subtract the whole function of g of x. And because we subtract the whole thing, we do distribute the negative. So, oh, it's like when you do the, um, what's it called? The three. The three. <laughs> I'm X thinking. squared. Okay, so let's do this. You're in algebra two. It's going to be plus two X. Plus two X, good. Plus. No. And minus one. Plus, plus one. Plus one. Is that it? That is F well, minus. You, you F minus G of X is this. Because it's one, negative 1 minus negative 2. Negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So we could still write the second part, like distributing like below. And then we yes, could yes, combine. you could do that. Yeah, I'm, I'm jumping to the next step. Algebra 2 up. Okay, what do you think is next? Multiply. Yay, multiply. I'm on racing. <laughs> yes. No way! <laughs> My knowledge is destroyed. All right. Okay. F times G of X coming up. 
Yeah. Okay. I'll just in case you're writing it at home, I'll leave it for a few more seconds. <laughs> This episode made reviewers like you. <laughs> okay. So if you're writing, you better write fast. Write fast. <laughs> I hope you've written the answer. Woo! They can erase it though and pause it. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Don't forget to pause. Okay. F times G of X is F of X times G of X. Times G of X. Writing both? X squared plus 5x minus 1. Oh, it's your foil. Yeah, foil is, is for two uh, binomials. These are polynomials. But it's the same concept. It's distributive property going crazy. So, let's carry this x squared. I mean, there's a multiple ways to do it. Let's do <laughs> x squared. Right, times 3x, x squared times negative 2. Oh. So that's 3x three three x cubed, okay. x cubed minus 2x squared. And then we'll take the 5x, 15x squared, minus 10x, good. Negative 3x. Plus two. Okay. Combinos of like termies. Uh, so x three x squared. Three um, x cubed. Minus negative two plus fifteen. Plus thirteen x squared. Minus thirteen x plus two. It, it's it's. Calculation heavy, but it's very straightforward if you know what you're doing. Wait, how is it plus 13? Plus 13 x squared. Negative 2 x squared plus 15 x squared uh. makes 13 x squared. And then same in similar fashion. Negative 10 x minus 3 x, negative 13 x. Combining like terms. Okay. This is one combination, and this is another. Okay. Now we're going to get into something you probably have not seen before. Well, dividing is we could do with synthetic division or something. All right, we're not. That's not the priority. We're going to do <coughs> f of g of x and g of f of x. You'll see what I mean. Okay, so pause it at home if you need to. I need to. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Blew my spot. <laughs> oh, how long are you gonna stand there? We like video. I know. Oh. <laughs> okay. This is a two. Okay. Here's the thing that they do in the book that's meant to confuse you. Success. Yeah. <laughs> looks fog. like fog. Yeah, it looks like fog. It's really it means f of g of x. <laughs> so why would it be f? Of that's o kind of maybe that's what the o is. <laughs> so it's like fog. Yeah. F of g of x is the equivalent to F of. So you can tell us to fog it for now on. Fog it. G of x. Alright, so hold this thought for one second.